Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. In the last episode, our successful start to the fall season came with the addition of our brand new horse, Maple, and when the Junimos took care of that glittering boulder too, after we finished off yet another one of these bundles. So today we're going to actually go into the mines to do a little bit of exploring, to see what our brand new ring is going to do as well, the small glow ring that emits a small constant light. So I guess that means we don't have to worry about bringing all of these torches anymore, because we should be able to see no matter where we're going. But I do want to see what our luck is going to be like at least. That's usually a good place to start if you're going to go deep into the mines, and yet again it looks like the spirits are somewhat mildly perturbed with us. So that's not a particularly good sign. It sounds like we might have some more enemies to deal with maybe, so we should definitely take a look inside our fridge and see if there's anything special we can bring. Typically we bring the items that give us a little bit of extra defense too, because some of these meals give us those a uh, good boost in stats, but we may have actually eaten all of the uh, ones that we can take. So for now we'll just bring this a uh, cranberry sauce, because that at least gives us a boost in mining. And then our extra fried eggs might help just in case we get ourselves into a little bit of a stickier situation, just in case we need the uh, extra food to keep ourselves alive in particular. But I am curious to see what uh, the uh, glittering boulder is going to give us. Since the Junimos did take care of it overnight, picked up this recipe overseas. Enjoy. Want to say thanks for making me feel welcome from Kent. Oh, he gave us a recipe for crispy bass. That's super cute. Maybe that means that he uh, particularly enjoys some types of fish meals. I want to say that Jody actually cooked us uh, some sort of fish for us when we joined her family for supper so long ago. So we'll have to consider that for the future, in case we're looking for something special to give him. But look at this, I think these are the last two apples that we need for Marnie's bundle. So let's uh, snatch up that extra one that we have inside our chest, and then we'll make sure that we go drop that off before we go mining for the day. I'm glad that we don't have to worry about watering any of our crops, but we definitely need to say hi to our animals. Oh my goodness, and pick up every last one of these jellies too, excellent. So this is definitely going to put us right back where we were before we uh, planted all of these seeds in the ground. And look how well they're coming too. Our cranberries are going to be ready to harvest before we know it. Now thanks to the rain, all of our animals should need their hay again as well. And that's also why we're considering making another silo with Robin, as long as we have enough resources to do so. The winter time means that all of our animals are going to need food every single day again, and we have much, much more animals than we did before. Last year, we only had our two chickens, I believe. So the one silo was more than enough than we needed to keep everyone full, but this time we have to be prepared. I'm even hoping that we'll be able to upgrade our coop and our barn before the next season rolls around. So that means we should have access to uh, pigs and sheep and even little rabbits inside the coop. I can't wait until all of our ducks and our chickens have a little rabbit friends to keep them company. But first and foremost, let's go ahead and fill up every last one of these little spaces so they have plenty to eat today. And hopefully tomorrow will be a bit of a, a brighter, sunnier day so you guys can finally stretch your legs again. I know it's been quite a while and our chickens don't often enjoy being cooped up for so long, so they might start to get pretty cranky soon. But after we throw our jellies into the bin to sell off, along with this uh, extra little blackberry as well, I think we should be ready to go up to Robin's and then up to the mines. So let's see if we have enough resources. Yeah, I think we do. We just need a hundred stones, some copper bars, and some clay as well. And then I was actually thinking maybe we should bring her some like extra resources just as a gift. I'm hoping she might appreciate the hardwood because that's something that's a little bit harder to come by. So maybe she could use it in uh, some of her different buildings. We're going to take our new trusty steed, Maple, up to her shop though. I think it'll be a little bit faster than using the minecart because the closest one to her house is the one right inside the mines. And Maple needs to stretch her legs anyway, so we'll give her a little bit of a exercise along the way. Oh, and look at this, Willie is inspecting the place where that glittering boulder used to be. I wonder if he senses the Junimo's presence. Hi, Jess. Hello, Willie. You have a little bag over here too. I wonder what he's planning. It's odd. I'm not sure what caused this boulder to disappear. All right, so it seems like he doesn't have any idea that the Junimos are around. This stream is flowing from deep within the mountain. 
Oh, it sounds like something's moving around. Hey, do you see that glistening in the water? I certainly do. What on earth is that? Some type of fish, maybe? Yes, that's quality ore. Oh, can we, like, go panning inside the river, then? The flow of the water must be carrying it out of the mountain. I wonder if he's going to give us something to collect that with. You know what this means, right? <laughs> he's so excited. It means we can start panning for ore. Oh, excellent. So a little extra way for us to get some more ore than uh, actually going deep into the mines. Here, I have an extra pan in my backpack. Why don't you take it? Oh, thank you very much, Willy. So we don't even have to worry about buying one ourselves. We can just uh, use that to scoop up all of this glistening ore in the river. If you ever see ore glistening in the water, use that pan to see what you find. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm excited to give it a try. You received a copper pan. All right, so it sounds like we can uh, get to work on that right away. Oh, wait a second, Maple. I don't want to leave you behind over here. We will never find you again if you're stuck in between the screens. But we will park you outside for just a moment as we go say hi to a Robin. And it looks like she's talking to Demetrius first. Demetrius, I didn't tell you to get tomatoes. I said to get fruit. <laughs> Uh-oh, this sounds like a little argument. I don't understand. Tomatoes are fruits. When a normal person says they want fruit, they never mean tomatoes. It doesn't matter what the scientific classification is. Well, I mean, I can understand what she's saying because uh, typically when I think fruit, I think apples and oranges. Jess, I'm glad you're here. You'll be able to put this argument to rest. Oh no, I don't like to get in between arguments, especially in a marriage like this. But it looks like they want to know how we would classify a tomato as a vegetable or a fruit. Well, I mean, I guess they technically are fruits. And it sounds like Robin is going to have to be a little bit more specific if she wants us something else to eat for lunch. See, Jess agrees with me. I just want you to understand my point of view. It's hard for me to know exactly what assumptions I should make when you tell me something, but I'll try to get better at it. <laughs> oh, that seems like it's enough for her. Thanks for your help, Jess. No problem, Demetrius. Not exactly what we were coming in for today, but I'm glad we were able to help nonetheless. So first and foremost, Robin, I do want to offer you this little piece of hardwood for all of your resources. Thanks, this is really nice. Excellent. So she did seem to like it. It wasn't her very favorite thing because she didn't give us that little heart, but she still appreciated the thought. Now, I know it's a bit of a rainy day, so I'm sure you're not too excited to uh, get to work on this, but we would like to build another silo so we'll have just enough hay to keep all of our animals fed all throughout the winter. So I guess uh, we'll go ahead and put it right over here too, though this little torch seems to be in the way. Does that mean that I can't... Uh, yeah, get rid of it on the screen. That's a bit unfortunate. I guess that means that the closest place we can put it is right over here. That's fine, though. That means that we can kind of, like, weave in between the silos, I guess. And we can always uh, move it aside later if we want to. Okay, I'll start working on your new silo first thing tomorrow morning. Well, hopefully it's going to be a much, much brighter, sunnier day out for you then. Now, Maple, if you wouldn't mind, I would like to uh, scoot on over to the river first. We'll see if we can uh, find any special ores to pan up in here. Well, I mean, I don't see anything glittering in the water. Not like uh, during that cutscene, at least, but let's at least uh, grab our pan just in case. We'll see if we can uh, click on anything out here, though it doesn't seem to be the case. All right, so we'll just have to keep our eyes open for uh, those little glistening spots. Yeah, I don't see anything else down here either, so maybe it's not the best day for us to go panning right now. Maybe the rain is affecting it, who knows. But we'll go ahead and clear out our uh, main pockets a little bit so we have plenty of room to work with. And then we'll go straight into the mines, so don't worry, Maple. We won't forget about you. We'll come back out and uh, take you home as soon as we're done. So since we're looking for iron ore and the aquamarine for the bundles, I wanted to start our adventure today at floor 40. Supposedly, this is one of the best places for us to find the aquamarine. And since we weren't able to uh, discover it in our previous adventures here, we might as well see if we have any better luck now. And this, of course, is where the iron ore started popping up in uh, abundance. And all of those strange little sprites do. I think these guys are called like dust sprites, right? And they drop coal for us to use. This is a good place for us to find uh, gifts for Sebastian too, because he does love those frozen tears. 
but let's go ahead and scoot down to the next floor because it didn't really look like there was anything special there. I'm honestly not sure what the uh, aquamarine is going to look like. If we're going to be able to maybe mine it up from one of these special rocks, or if it's just going to be laying around on the floor like the quartz that we come across too. Well, at least there's some more iron ore on this floor, and it looks like uh, we have some little barrels to break open down here too. So let's go ahead and see if there's any aquamarines in here. Nope, just jades and frozen geodes. But I suppose there's always a chance that we might get a special mineral inside the geode anyway. The one thing I do appreciate about this part of the uh, mines is that the enemies are much easier for us to manage. We can take care of these bats in just a couple of hits with our very strong sword. There we go, we can grab up all of those bat wings in the process. So if I remember correctly, I think uh, Sebastian also enjoyed the bat wings too, right? I can't remember if we tried that ourselves or if it was a tip that you guys gave me. But either way, Sebastian will be very happy to see our little farmer tomorrow. No aquamarines though, and it is starting to get a little bit late. So I think it might be just about time for our little farmer to uh, return home, especially because, oh my goodness, she is getting very, very tired now. So we'll scoop up the last of that iron ore and then uh, go see Maple right outside the mines. We did manage to find some little uh, minerals though. The jades, of course, the frozen geodes, and even a special little omni geode too. So we'll pay Clint a little visit tomorrow to see what he can find. Now even our wine is ready to sell today, so let's go ahead and scoop up all of these items. And then we'll cross our fingers that tomorrow is going to be a much, much sunnier day. And maybe a little bit of a luckier day too. Oh my goodness, look at all of that gold. Oh, that blueberry jelly is absolutely the best. Definitely going to help us uh, increase our funds for all of those special upgrades. But judging by that sound, yeah, it looks like it's still raining outside. Oh my goodness, Daisy. This is uh, quite the storm. Maybe we should actually check the weather report. Is tomorrow going to be any sunnier? It's going to be cloudy with gusts of wind throughout the day. Well, I mean, that might be a good thing. The weatherman didn't say that it was going to be a super, super rainy. Oh, and look at that. The spirits are very happy today. They will do their best to shower everyone with good fortune. All right, so today is going to be the day. Today is the day that we finally find that aquamarine for Emily. The one thing we haven't checked in a very long time was how our blueberries are doing inside our greenhouse. They're still coming along very, very nicely, and it looks like our trees back here are too. So that's a good sign. Pretty soon we'll have the blueberries again to place inside all of those preserves jars. And it looks like Robin is already hard at work. I'm so sorry that you have to work out here in the rain today, but we really appreciate what you do. Oh, wait a second. Our corn is ready to harvest too? Oh no, I think that this was actually ready yesterday, wasn't it? Oh, I might have uh, missed that, but that's okay. We'll just scoop all of this up right now and then uh, sell it straight off too because it looks like we have some pretty decent quality crops here. And now that's all of our chores complete, so Maple, if you wouldn't mind, we could use a little bit of a lift into town. Now I know it's probably much, much faster just to take our little minecart system straight to Clint's shop, but I can't resist riding our brand new horse Maple into Pelican Town. I'm sure our neighbors are quite impressed with us too. We'll go ahead and see what sort of a quest people are looking for today. I'm looking for someone to bring me 40 copper ores. Well, if we happen to uh, find anything special, we will let you know, Clint. But I'm not sure if we'll see too much copper down where we're going to go. Now let's drop off our apples too, so we can uh, finish off Marnie's little bulletin board bundle. Hello, my little Junimo friends. We are so very close to completing this entire thing. There we go, bundle complete. So what does uh, Marnie have in store for us? Oh, a little heater. Oh, that's so sweet of her. So uh, we can use that to keep our animals warm in the wintertime, which is exactly what we're looking for right now. Now let's cross our fingers that Clint can give us a little something special from all of these geodes. Hello, Clint. We have something to uh, show you here. If you happen to find any aquamarine in these things, we would be super, super happy. An ocean stone. Oh, that sounds very pretty, but I'm not sure that that's anything that we really need. And the fire quartz too, which we can always sell. All right, we haven't given Gunther the ocean stone yet, so at least it's not a uh, complete waste. We can scoot Maple over to the library, where it looks like Penny might be trying to uh, wait out the rain. She must be getting pretty sick of this too. And then we can drop off yet another donation. 
his shelves are just about filled now, so uh, hopefully he'll have another little reward for us pretty soon. I'm sure there probably isn't too many more of these uh, artifacts or minerals that we have to give him. It's probably going to be pretty tricky for us to find those very last few. But that's why it's such a good thing that we're going deep into the mines again. We'll just go ahead and drop off a couple of uh, these little extra bits and bobs that we have. If I can find the right path to take. There we go, I have to get used to uh, actually taking the main roads again, because our horse can't exactly squeeze through those tiny little gaps. But I think we're ready to go back into the mines now and uh, make proper use of this very lucky day. We'll see if maybe we have any more luck down by the river too, since we do still have um, our copper pan on hand. Oh yeah, there is one of those little glistening spots. All right, let's see what's waiting inside of the river over here. Oh, that is so cute, some gold ore. All right, excellent. That's going to be super, super helpful anytime we need some uh, little extra bits and bobs. A train is passing through Stardew Valley? Oh, we haven't seen that message in ages. I think we're actually super close to the train station too, so do you think we can actually reach it? Let's see, if we scoot on up here, maybe it'll still be going by? I don't know if we ever discovered what we can actually do with this train. Yeah, there we go. Oh my goodness, where on earth are you going? There are tons and tons of cars on this thing. It's not stopping for us though. Oh my goodness, but did it just throw a geode at us? And there's a little copper ore too. Well, that was unexpected. I didn't think that we would actually get like little gifts from these trains. All right, I guess we'll have to uh, try to stick around the train station a little more often, just in case one happens to be going by Stardew Valley. Maybe there's even like a special little schedule that we can try to remember. But for now, let's jump straight back into these mines. Well, I'm not sure if it's a good thing or not, but the uh, mines are definitely much, much more active today. I mean, I guess that means that we will have uh, more items to pick up. Maybe they'll drop some special little minerals for us if we're lucky. Well, that one dropped a crystal fruit. That's interesting. If I remember correctly, we can typically only find that in the winter time when we're foraging around the town. So a little something special from our dust sprite friends. How long do you suppose they've been saving that up for us? Aha, and there is one of those special little amethysts. We know a lot of people who would love to get their hands on this special gem. I hope that means that the aquamarine is going to have like a different stone that we have to mine. And hopefully I haven't been uh, completely walking past it all the time either. I would imagine it's probably something blue and since uh, everything in these wintry mines has the same sort of color, I guess there's always a possibility that I'm just completely ignoring it. But we'll go ahead and scoot down to the next floor and see if there's uh, anything special here. Well, still no aquamarine I'm afraid, but I don't feel like we can be too upset. We still found plenty of geodes, lots and lots of uh, little things to crack open tomorrow. And we do have quite a good selection of iron ore too, so at least we managed to find one of the things we were looking for. We'll go back to the bus stop though, because I think it's about time that Jess probably uh, sold off all of her extra items, jumped into bed and uh, got ready for tomorrow because I'm pretty sure it's um, Elliot's birthday tomorrow. And look at that, we have a special little diamond sitting here. I wonder if you would actually appreciate diamonds as a gift. It seems maybe a little bit extravagant as a birthday gift, but we do want him to feel special. We also have all of these other flowers in here too, which I'm pretty sure he did enjoy. So there is no short selection of items that we can offer Elliot. The duck feathers would be ideal though, so maybe, maybe if we're lucky, the ducks will uh, offer us up some of their special little feathers to give him tomorrow. But for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys. All right, we leveled up in mining, excellent. So now we can make the mega bomb. That looks like it would make it much, much easier for us to clear out all of those stones and maybe find those extra ladders faster. And then our combat too. We found the recipe for a slime incubator this time. All right, and some explosive ammo probably for the slingshot. But that slime incubator really intrigues me because that probably has something to do with the slime hutch that we can make. So maybe that's a good sign that someday soon we'll have all the items we need to tame them. We'll have to wait and see.